Hi guys, Brown here, and welcome back to the Let's Talk GP series here today for the final round of the F1 2019 season. We're going to be re reviewing Abu Dhabi here today. Um, I did this with Brazil. Um, if you want to know my thoughts on that race, then you can go and check that out. Um, I'll link to it down below. Before we get into the review, let's just go through how the race finished. So, Lewis Hamilton winning, I think, was his 11th win of the season. Absolutely dominated that race, led from start to finish. Got the fastest lap as well. So that was 26 points to him in what has been his most successful season in terms of points, I think. I think that was a other stat he picked up this weekend as well. And so he won and then also on the podium was... Verstappen and then Leclerc obviously there was clouds over Leclerc we'll get onto that in just a minute Valtteri Bottas his amazing recovery drive from all the way down at the back Sebastian Vettel 5th Alex Albon 6th Perez just beating Norris on the last lap I think it was and also in terms of the championship as well um, so Lando Norris was 8th Kvyat 9th Sainz 10th Ricardo 11th, Hulkenberg 12th, Raikkonen 13th, Magnussen 14th, Grosjean 15th, 16th Giovinazzi, 17th George Russell, 18th Gasly and 19th Nico Hulkenberg and the 1 DNF being Lance Stroll. As I said fast lap of the race going to Lewis Hamilton, fastest pit stop reward goes to Red Bull with a 2.06 second stop and then the drive of the day going to Nico Hülkenberg on what might be his last or might have been his last F1 race for at the minute the foreseeable future so before even the lights went out we had a cloud over Ferrari because they hadn't the fuel that was in the car the way I understand it is the fuel that was in the car wasn't what they told the FIA was going to be in the car. So I think it was either over or under fueled. I'm guessing it was under fueled because why would you over fuel the car? Reading into the technical regulations, um, the, obviously punishment for that is to be disqualified from the race. And But it was investigated after the race. So obviously he did get on the podium and it still stood after the race I think um, Ted Krabbits was saying on Sky that they emptied all the fuel out of Leclerc's car and then tested it on what should have been left in the car and it was all clear but they only gave um, Ferrari a 5,000 euro fine which what is that to Ferrari that's literally a penny to Ferrari let's be honest some, something like that the lights went out, Hamilton got a good start, so did Verstappen. And then Gasly got pinched by I think it was it was like Stroll. So at the start there was drama. Um Lance Stroll clipping pig Gasly, who then went into Perez and he lost his front wing. It was the front wing to rear right tire and then that just ruined Gasly's race and then he was actually in a fight to finish sixth in the championship which of course he didn't get that did go to Carlos Sainz with his last lap move on Nico Hülkenberg and um, we got to lap three so everything was just kind of settled down and um, obviously Abu Dhabi is not one of the greatest tracks to overtake on even with the two massive straights it has Going into the going into the chicanes at the end of them, um, it should be a track that's much better for overtaking. I do like Abu Dhabi, but obviously, it's not the best for overtaking. And when the DRS failed, I've got to be honest, it was a boring race. Um, but those twenty or so laps, that DRS wasn't enabled, and they had the technical glitch was the best part of the race in my opinion because you saw literally Bottas stick behind Hülkenberg the soon as DRS got was switched back on that was it it was straight past him 
I've kind of always backed up DRS, but that was a race where you clearly saw it's not needed anymore. It's to aid the over, like obviously it does its job, it aids the overtaking, but just get closer. I don't care. I don't care about all this dirty air. Look, you can either go for a lunge or you can sit there for three laps. What's the options? Do you want to get past him? Go for the risky move, which you're a racing driver. I'm guessing for teams to see that in the first place, you would have done moves like that. So go for them. That's what we want to see watching. We want to see drivers go for the risky move, not go, oh, I can't get past him. The, the, the hot air stopping me. I'll just wait for a pit stop and get past him then. No, go for a dive. So obviously DRS then got switched back on and then Bottas blitz past Hulkenberg. It's really hard to remember what happened in this race, I've got to be honest. Um, if you wondered what I was doing whilst watching this race, I was editing um, Italy for my career mode. And I took more joy in editing that video than I did watching F what the actual race. Um, you'll see that video coming out this weekend on Sunday at half four. But back to the race. And it was a bit of a snooze fest. Obviously, we had the overtakes. Bottas got his way back through the field. Ferrari then being absolute clowns. Like, why did they think the two-stop was a good idea? It just didn't work. It just put Leclerc was miles behind Verstappen. And then Vettel was just on his own. So I don't really get how Ferrari thought the two-stop could work as well. Everyone else doing the one-stop. Hamilton doing the one-stop and... Wow, that was, I think, one of his best drives in terms of pole to flag. We had, um, uh, on the last lap, I'm going to say this because it's just in my mind, but on the last lap, Crofty commentating on Bottas like he was going to get past Leclerc in that final part of the track. No, Bottas showed in that race that he is not, not not capable, capable is the wrong word, but not willing to go for a lunge down the inside. Otherwise, he probably could have got Leclerc. And all this DRS stuff stopped him getting through. What a load of absolute rubbish. If all DRS couldn't help people overtake, how did people cope? How did you see Senna go round the outside of cars? Yes. The cars weren't as technical and didn't have as much downforce and weren't generating as much turbulent air. But there has been days, even look back pre-2010, 2009, 08, 07, 06, 05, we could keep and carry on. Even 2010, yes, 2010, Abu Dhabi, you got Alonso. It's stuck beyond Petrov, but that made that race interesting. If you saw Alonso get... DRS and just blitz Petrov in that race, it would have been a bit um a bit disappointing. Obviously Alonso probably would have gone to win the championship if DRS was a thing then, but it weren't and Vettel has got the championship. Otherwise Alonso could be more than two time world champ. The at the end Lando Norris getting overtaken by Sergio Perez at the end, that was pretty interesting, not picked up on the TV. Um, Carlos Sainz's lunge down the inside of Nico Hülkenberg for that one solid point that promoted him to sixth in the championship because he hadn't, he would have finished via stuck behind Hülkenberg. He would have finished seventh in the championship, level on points with Gasly, but Gasly got Gasly has more podiums or something. That makes science go behind him in the championship, even though they would have ended level on points. So science getting that job done and getting that extra point. Of course, we also had Verstappen complaining on the radio that he had turbo lag or something when he absolutely blitzed Charles Leclerc into the chicane. That was an excellent move, that. And then Leclerc coming out of the first chicane looked like he was absolutely nowhere. And then that Ferrari just carried him all the way back up to the back of Verstappen but he just wasn't close enough to stay in front of of Max Verstappen in that Red Bull and then Alex Albon he's so unlucky on the last lap I think it was getting overtaken by Vettel um, puts him down in sixth that was unlucky as well 
there was an incident in the race between Robert Kubica and Giovinazzi. Giovinazzi trying to go around the outside of Robert Kubica. Looked like he completed the move and then Robert Kubica just turned in on him. And then uh, Martin Brundle saying that Kubica was very lucky to even carry on in that race. He was lucky to not get flipped over. Which was something that I didn't actually think about watching it the first time. Of course, it, but there wasn't a lot in it between the Hulkenberg incident from last season, if you remember, with Grosjean, when Grosjean tagged him. And then we got that radio message, I'm hanging here like a cow. Towards the end of the race, we mentioned about Vettel getting um, Albon literally on the last lap. The lap before, though, Vettel had already tried the move, but Albon opened up his steering, and then just kind of Vettel had to back out of it. Which Vettel just started complaining. I was like, "Why are you complaining?" That was just really good racing from Albon, and he was like, "That slam dunk penalty." That Vettel just stop moaning. People moan that Lewis Hamilton moans. He doesn't like. Yes, he moans a bit, but not as much as Vettel. Vettel literally every little thing that happens out on the track, he moans at. But that's pretty much the race. Um, to me, the most interesting part was watching those donuts from Hamilton and Verstappen. And there was a bit on the podium which I thought found quite funny. If um, you watched F1 for a while, you know, when Hamilton wins, if it's a pretty good win, he normally throws the trophy up in the air. And he was so close to dropping it. Literally inches, inches, inches from dropping it. And he literally just caught it. Could you imagine if he dropped it? But that's pretty much my thoughts on the race. I know not really a lot to talk about. Especially after how good Brazil was. If you like these kind of videos. And you want to see more. Then make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe. Stick around. Next Talk GP will return in 2020. I've been thinking about maybe doing some predictions. And then doing a complete review of this season but for 2019 in terms of real life can't wait for f on 2020 it's going to be so good it's 102 days i think it is from today but until then let us talk gp real return goodbye <laughs>